Please be advised that everything in my video is purely for entertainment purposes. These are purely my thoughts and opinions and are subjective. I must advise you, please do your own research. All media used was found on the public domain and are fair use and fair dealings. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Mahogany Spirit coming to you from the UK. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. We are having some lovely weather over here in the UK, although we have had a few storms. Anyway, I know I always talk about the weather, but the weather really does affect me as I am still very much shielding. The royal biographer, Omid Scooby, has stated that we should spend more time and energy criticising Prince Andrew and his horrendous mess. He's come out defending Miss Markle and he's saying that we should direct our energies towards Prince Andrew. No one agrees with what Prince Andrew has done and that's why Prince Andrew has been removed. As everyone is well aware. What I find really hypocritical about Omid Scooby is the way in which he has used his platform to talk about women of colour or a woman of colour having a voice. I am a woman of colour, Omid Scooby, and I have a right to have a voice. I don't pull out the race card if and when I feel like it. Meghan Markle allegedly experienced racism in the UK. But yet, Meghan Markle does not, nor does Harry, really really focus in on racism that is going on in the US of A. Racism resides everywhere. And Meghan Markle, as I've stated on numerous occasions, has not been the recipient of deep entrenched racism. No, she has not. Her family embarrassed her to the point of no return and she allowed that to take place. I have stated on numerous occasions, Samantha Markle's involvement with it, Thomas Markle being left to his own devices. No one can ignore those primary facts. They are at the forefront of the criticisms that Meghan Markle has received. So let's get off the bandwagon of race. The royal family embraced Meghan Markle. She was brought into the royal fold and the country was extremely excited and they welcomed her into the royal fold with open arms, I might add. She brought a freshness to what was traditionally English women marrying into the royal family. Omid Scooby has a lot to say for himself and he continues to talk about Miss Markle and her being a woman of colour and this book which has been titled Finding Freedom and I've said on numerous occasions Meghan Markle and Harry were not in prison and if they feel that they were in prison, I do not consider them running around mansions, residing in mansions, owned by Tyler Perry, staying in Elton John's French mansion, in Canada, in a mansion, being in prison. I really don't. And I find it extremely hypocritical for... Omid Scooby to come out and say that. the average person who experiences racism cannot get a job or does not get a promotion their voices aren't heard a lot of racism is endemic which means that for people of colour they don't own the TV shows that are basically 
airing they may not own news channels so their stories are never proportionately told i could continue on but i'm not here to preach about racism i'm here to talk about omid scooby who continually uses the race narrative when concerning miss Meghan markle miss Meghan markle has married into an extremely old-fashioned archaic family who were the founders of the Commonwealth. Britain's history is a very colourful one when it comes to racism and the slave trade. She married into it and if they were still extremely racist she would not have got her foot through the front door i really truly believe that and more to the point had she had not declared that she was biracial no one would have really known miss markle could have been italian she could have been spanish she could have been mexican because she really does look like that although she's not and that she is biracial that is just she happens to be biracial but i really do not feel that she experienced extreme racism as Ahmed scooby likes to talk about he made a statement and this is exactly what Omid Scooby stated. I would love to occasionally see the tears and energy those morons spend on a non-working royal used on Prince Andrew's horrendous mess. The journalist tweeted, or is there nothing worse than a woman of colour with a voice? Question mark. Scooby was referring to the Duke of York's decision to step back from royal duties last November following the scrutiny over his friendship with We Know Who as detailed in his interview with the BBC. I just think that that is extremely low for Omid Scooby to call the British taxpayers, a bunch of morons. And this is just the tip of the iceberg because this just demonstrates what Omid Scooby really does think and what Meghan Markle and Harry think of the taxpaying British public. It's just insult after insult, insult over injury. We don't all live in mansions. And we have just come out of the COVID. But let me tell you, the people have a right to an opinion. They have a right to say, we have been dictated to by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry with regards to carbon admissions, with regards to how many holidays we should have. We had Harry even talking about how many children he's going to have because he cares so much about the environment. Let's not forget that we've also had Harry's and Meghan's in-laws coming out Thomas Markle talking about an extremely fractured relationship he has had with his daughter and her lack of communication the fact that he wasn't at the wedding we've had Samantha Markle we've had Thomas Markle Jr it's all been out in the open. It's been placed in the public arena. When things are placed in the public arena, such as the likes of that, I feel the British public have a right, because we do live in a democracy, to have an opinion. Never once have I referred to Meghan Markle or Prince Harry or the authors of this book, Finding Freedom, which I feel is a ridiculous title, a bunch of morons and I just feel that this is just another insult and I really hope that that book is firmly boycotted that no one reads it because why should morons buy a book about people who actually think that they are morons 
that's what I'm going to say. And I'm going to leave it there because I'm actually quite annoyed with regards to this article that came out over the weekend. I feel it is an insult. No one told Meghan Markle to have her family every day on various television shows talking about her and her fractured relationship. No one encouraged that. She allowed that to all go ahead. She didn't stop it. She didn't make any statements that could ease that kind of reporting. It's just been, as I said before, a soap opera show from start to finish with Miss Markle and Prince Harry. And now they're in America, which is arguably one of the most racist countries on the face of this earth. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Tell me what you think. Please like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, bye.